Kiev continues to increase the number of units of the armed forces of Ukraine, the National Guard, and territorial defense in various sectors of the front. In the Kharkov region, the Russian army has gone on the offensive again and is restoring lost positions. Fighting continues near the village of Stary Soltov, which according to some reports is already under the control of Russian forces. There are also clashes on the fronts from Zupovka to Melye Prohody. In the area of Izium, the AFU attempts to attack Russian positions in the village of Balaklea. Ukrainian forces are trying to break through the defenses from the northwestern direction and cut off Russian units advancing from Izium to Slavyansk. On June 15th, a humanitarian corridor was opened for civilians to leave the territory of the Azot plant in Severodonetsk. Hundreds of civilians may be taken hostage in bomb shelters in the facility that is still under Ukrainian control. The number of Ukrainian militants in the industrial zone reportedly reaches 2,000 fighters. A quarter of them are foreign mercenaries. After prolonged fighting, Russian-led forces claim control of Rubovka in the area of Zolotoy. Russian units managed to break through the defense of the 10 assault brigade of the AFU in Rubovka and gain a foothold on its outskirts. Retreating Ukrainian units strengthen their defense in Nikolaevka and pull reinforcements there. In the area of Sletlodarsk, fighting continues for Semigoye and Vershina. The Ukrainian group in the Ugolgorsk thermal power plant risks being completely surrounded in the coming days. The AFU launched a number of attacks in the Mikuleev and Kherson directions. Kiev is trying to develop an offensive and achieve any significant success, which is necessary for the Zelensky administration as a symbol of the ability of the Ukrainian army to still conduct offensive operations. So far, no strategic successes have been reached. On June 15th, Russian-caliber missiles hit the area of the settlement of Zolovchiv in the Lviv region. As a result, an ammunition depot for foreign weapons transferred to Ukraine by NATO countries, including 155mm M777 howitzers, was destroyed. Among other targets for Russian missiles, there was the Voznesensk military airfield in the Mykolaiv region. Russian strikes destroyed aviation equipment of the Ukrainian air forces. On the morning of June 15th, the AFU attacked the checkpoint in the Russian Kursk region, but could not continue their offensive and retreated. Shelling on civilians in the DPR continues. Only on June 14th, 18 settlements of the Republic were hit by Ukrainian artillery. As a result of the attacks, two civilians were killed, eight others were injured, including a 12-year-old child. Ukrainian militants again fired at Chinobayevka near Kherson. A civilian man and a woman were killed. More civilians were wounded.